Welcome to John's Random Reviews. Hi, welcome back to John's Random Reviews. Today, I've got a creation. Now then, if you look at this item here, it looks all, to, any, to, the, unin, unin, to the uninitiated, like a Makita submersible pump. But hang on a minute, Makita do not make, currently, do not make a submersible pump for 18 volt batteries. You can get a, a Makita submersible pump, a 241 or a 110 one, so I was, I've been waiting and waiting for Mickey to bring, to bring one out. I've not heard anything yet. So I saw this on the internet. This is actually a Bosch 18 volt submersible pump. Now it's mainly for, for gardeners. And we'll go into that in a bit. It's not really for um, uh, the building trade, but I saw this online and I thought, wow, this is gonna be just the thing for work. Now what I do, I'm a plumber as you know, and what sometimes we have to pump out storage tanks on, could be on top of a fell. Obviously there's no power there, or other times where you're on a site with no power, or you're in, you're in a, you could be in the middle of a road pumping, you need to pump out actually a valve pit or a manhole. Now we're not talking about a manhole full of um, uh, poo, like a block drain, I wouldn't put this down it, but if I ever have to um, pump out a tank, Sometimes if we haven't got no power, we have to go to hire a generator and do all sorts of stuff like that. So I bought this and then instead of leaving it the Bosch colour, now Bosch Professional professional is blue, but Bosch sort of garden and DIY is green and this initially was green. I'm going to put a picture of that and show what it looked like before I altered it. they alter it you know I like to, to have a bit of fun and alter these um, other manufacturers tools to run on my Makita batteries but also as a bit of fun I get a bit of teal paint and some Makita stickers and make it look like a Makita um, tool now what I did for a bit of fun is I put this on a Makita forum a Facebook forum page and said check this out and people were like no way where can I buy this from new Makita I said oh hang on a minute this is the only one in the world. So let's go through it. So obviously this is the body of it. And it's uh, it's not that powerful, but we'll go into, we'll have a bit of a demo in a bit. So this is the filter bit on the bottom. It's got a little impeller on it. And then it's got a, a quite a fine filter. Now if you were in a really mucky situation, like you were um, pumping out a really mucky hole, that would probably get blocked up quite easily. You'd probably have to, Keep on cleaning that out. Now on the top here, I've actually adapted this with a fitting. It's actually a hep 2 fitting that goes to a bit of 22 mil copper. So I can put a three quarter hose on that. But if you wanted to put a, a normal hose pipe on, that's got a three quarter thread on it. And then we can just wind this on. You can see what it used to look like because this is the Bosch green that, um, that comes with it. So. It's got quite a long lead with it, and this is where the battery goes. Now, I could have bought this online. These go for just the just this bit here with the the pump and the cable for about um, seventy nine pounds or something like that, sixty nine pounds. But if you buy this other bit where the Bosch battery goes on, that bumps the price up. Price up. So I think both of these items are about hundred and thirty pounds. Not not cheap at all. But I thought I'll buy both items and see how I could adapt them. So let's get, hang on, hang on. Let's get involved. Too old for this, too old for this. Anyway, so this is where the battery goes. So I've actually adapted this to run on Makita batteries by using one of these now this is a, a 12 volt version of it but this is the little usb charger so as you can see you can get the gist of it i've actually slotted that into the bottom of this 
You can buy a 3D printed adapter to go from a Bosch 18 volt tool and so it allows you to put a Makita battery into it so you could in theory do it that way um, which might be a bit easier but you won't be able to put the cover back over because it stick up too high anyway that's the options and um, so let's check it out so there that battery sits on there perfectly and the cover goes on like that now you might be asking well John how do you turn it on but there's two reasons I bought this with, with the actual submersible pump with this um, the kit where the battery goes this bit is all water but it's got a, a rubber seal if you look that really closely there you can see a rubber seal that goes all the way around it and when you put this cover on let's say it was absolutely pissing it down that's a technical term there or it was raining even if you were dead polite you could take this out and you could have it running and not worry about the battery getting wet or anything so how does it work if you look in look here you can see a little pin there and what, what that does is pushes down on a little micro switch. So I've got, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm just going to run this for a little bit because it'll, it'll damage it running it dry. So you can get the gist of it. So, so when you push the, the cover down like that and then you push the, this black cover over, it turns on. I've showed you all the technical bits about it. Well, not that technical. Obviously, it's 18 volt. It's running off my Makita batteries and um, we're going to try and explain about how much this will pump how many litres a minute and whatnot like i said it's only a small it's only a small pump so what we're going to do now is we're going to take it outside and we're going to try and pump some water okay see you outside right at work we use this we're going to going to use this pump for pumping out water tanks obviously the water tanks we pump out there could be hundreds and hundreds of gallons in these tanks and um, we haven't got one here today, but what we have got is this bucket that holds about 25 litres of water. So we're going to put the submersible pump in that and see how quickly it pumps it out, how fast it pumps it out. Well, that's the same thing, but also how much head of water it will pump up to. So let's get involved. Right. So we're going to sit the pump in there like that. I'm going to hold the hose and we'll get it going. So, what I'm going to do is going to stand up here and see how high. So, I'm about probably about 10 foot up. Let's see if it's pretty good. So we'll give the gardens a bit of a water. No, 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 you'll scorch all the leaves in this sun. Oh, right, we're going to time how long it's going to take to empty this bucket. So the bucket holds about 25 litres. So let's get going. It's making me want to go to the loo. But apart from that, it's not particularly very fast, but it's not a bad flow. It's water in the grass anyway. If you look in the bucket, we're nearly maybe halfway down, so I think it's been a, about 15 seconds or something, or maybe a little bit longer. And then we're getting right down to it now. So, not, for, not very long now, and we'll have pumped the bucket out. Nearly there. There. Right, when it gets down to there, you've obviously got to turn it off. It doesn't have a float switch on it. So, to stop damaging the pump, it's always best to keep an eye on it. Another advantage of this um, pump is if you're not pumping from one container to another, like we do at work, and you've got a water butt over there and you want to water your plants normally you just fill the tap up at the bottom and you have your watering can but we've got a better way so what we're going to do i've connected a, a half inch hose pipe to this um, pump and we've put a spray head on so we're going to see if it'll water the garden it's very hot today 
so we're going to see if it's going to work and part of my new thing is I'm going to try and stop saying so so many times anyway okay so we're going to pop this in the water bud and that's fine like that so then we're going to turn this on like that and then we're going to water the missus's plants as you can see it's quite powerful Let's see if we can change the setting a little bit. Look at that. So if you've got a garden with a water butt, and then you can rig this up and water the plants quite easily. It won't go, it'll only go about three meters, I think. Right, this is a great little pump to run off Makita batteries if you run off, see off the um, Bosch for the Bosch um, platform you don't have to mess about making adapting it but as you can see we've got it going and for my missus to do the watering of the plants it's absolutely perfect and apparently watering me so there we go okay what do we say random is round <laughs> rock on <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Unsubscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Tell me you love me. Tell me you hate me. Tell your friends and neighbours. Tell that weird guy from across the street with the one-eyed dog. Tell me anything. But most importantly, let's get involved.